everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sunflower Sims, and if you are new, welcome to the channel. So, um, right now we are at school with Gemma and June. Gemma is just getting something to eat, and she was going to go talk to Savannah. Uh, she was going to spread some rumors about Woohoo, because if you recall, she wants to spread a rumor. She wants to gossip five times and mess around in the cuddle cart. And Miss June is uh, really hitting things off with Sydney. They are getting along really well, and they have developed a decent friendship so far. So I'm really uh, curious about how that's going to go. Um, so I kind of like Sydney. I want to ask about. Um, I want to ask about romantic interests, and then mess around interests. Um, I'm just curious, uh, <laughs> no ulterior motives here at all. And Gemma acquired the mischief skill from spreading a rumor. Um, she, she and June had social studies this morning, and so they both gained some skills of, um, oh dear, lunch is almost over, and poor Gemma hasn't, June hasn't eaten. They both earned some, an archaeology skill, Salvadorian culture skill and writing skill in social studies today. So she is just having, Gemma is just having some food and talking with Savannah. So I want her to gossip a little bit because Gemma is a little bit of a drama llama. Um, but it looks like maybe we are getting ready for class in a second. So maybe not maybe later, um, but Gemma, or June rather, did you ask Sydney about his interests or are you just ditching that to go to class? She wants to join an after school activity. I'm just gonna check that off and say we did it because um, she's a streamer and that should count as an after school activity, I feel like, but it doesn't, it's a job, which is a little annoying, but it is what it is. So now they're going to language arts Gemma, you really need to hurry up and go. Um, she is, let's see. Um, what am I looking for? Oh, I'm looking for her needs. Okay, yeah, she's doing well. Gemma is pretty hungry because she didn't eat at lunch. She spent all of lunch socializing, or I'm sorry, June did. Uh, so, you know, we'll see how that goes. And Gemma is late to class again. She's been late to both classes today. This morning it's because she was studying. This time it was because she was chatting. Um, so, you know. And I want to know what skills, probably writing and, I don't know, probably just writing from this class. Um, but we will see what skills they earn, if any, in this class. I think it's really cool that they earn skills during class. I really appreciate that aspect. Uh, so, hurry up. It's like 3.30. You said school ends at 3.00. So, class is running late. Uh, yeah, so in this part, I really want to, ooh, today Gemma is learning about classics and literature, no young adult fiction like the bladder games here, only boring books like Crisis Barn. Um, oh, that's funny, like Hunger Games, and I don't know what Crisis Barn is supposed to be. Animal Farm, maybe? If there wasn't a movie made of it, then how is it any good? Does it make the pop quiz any easier to answer? Maybe a quick glance at the notes app, story notes app will help Gemma get through this quiz. I feel like Gemma has enough integrity that she doesn't cheat, even though she's a drama llama and she's a little bit more outgoing and maybe a little bit more rebellious than June. I feel like she wouldn't cheat. Um, so let's see. Gemma turned in some good work and took good notes. June really impressed her teachers. Prom is coming, it's on Saturday. Create a prom proposal sign, ask someone to prom, ask someone to prom as friends and prepare your formal outfit. And I don't know what the outcome of, oh, uh, small classroom performance loss. Oops, uh, oh well. So now June is, Gemma is gonna have to go to cheerleading soon, I think. Um, so I want, um, oh wait, what did, how long has it been? Oh, Flint is wondering if he should change his job. Well, you're going to retire soon, but um, but anyway, I want June to find Sydney and talk to him a little bit more. Here he is. Um, yeah, we have really great relationships with him. Uh, so I want to keep that going. 
Let's see, he's still in class though. Um, also, why is it lagging so bad? I clicked on him. Come on. Ay, ay, ay. Um, I don't know why my game's been lagging so much, but it has. Um, let's see. More choices. Ask about romantic interests. And ask about mess around interests because you didn't on lunch, apparently. Um, so I want to see. And who called in June? Do you want to do something today? August, I can't. She should have cheer to. Oh, she doesn't have cheer today. Great. Well, I want her to work on making some friends. Ugh, we have bills due again. That's awful. <laughs> Uh, they turned off the power. That's just great. Um, so June is going to, I don't know, June will come talk to you, Yuko. Um, and Gemma, why aren't you going? Or June, why aren't you going to talk to Sydney? Is it, come on, you can get up. Hmm, that's interesting. Uh, I guess maybe because classes are still going. I don't know. Here she goes. She's finally coming over. So I want to see if anyone's going to ask her to prom. If not, we will have to ask somebody ourselves, I think. Um, I definitely want them to go Saturday because I don't know if they'll still be teens by the next prom. Because um, prom happens every Saturday. So we'll see. Um... I want her, I want Gemma to enthuse about interests and just kind of get to know some people. Um, let's, uh, let's see, is there a gossip interaction? Because, aha, because we want to gossip five times. Um, so I really want to focus on the teen, uh, I definitely want to talk about the teen um, aspirations or work on them, I mean. Uh, so we're going to gossip with her a couple times. And June, what did Sydney say? Okay, he says he's still trying to figure out stuff romantically, but he's not close enough to tell her about woohoo interests. So let's see. I want to try flirting with Sydney a little bit. Um, see if anything good comes out of that. So we're gonna flirt and see what happens. We're going to compliment his appearance. Ooh, wowee, that seems irresistible. Gemma has a major crush on Yuko. Oh, okay. I'm gonna clear the notification wall. Gemma, I did not expect that from you. I did not think. She was all that interested in romantic stuff right now. Um, let's see. I'm just going to queue up a bunch of interactions. Um, ask about her hobbies and skills. Um, here, let's pull up a bunch. I'm really interested now that we have a big crush on her. Um, let's see. Let's be friendly. Enthuse about fitness because Gemma is really into cheerleading and the fitness skill right now. And it's seven o'clock. Oh my gosh, we should head home soon. I just want her to get a little bit of time with Yuko here. Um, let's see. Uh, friendly. Ah, what did I do? Okay. Ugh. Okay. Friendly. Let's, um, let's have a deep conversation with her. And June, oh no, she's humiliated and a loner and she's cold. Did Sydney reject us? I feel like, oh yeah, he did. Our relationship bar dropped a lot. I am so sorry. Go home, sweetie. I'm sorry. And Gemma, how's it going with you? 
we will go. Um, how's it going with her? Probably not any better than how your sister did. Um, I think she went home, so we're just gonna go home. And someone is calling Willow. Oh, um, no, we don't want another baby mom. <laughs> um, you're about to be an elder. Maybe you shouldn't have another baby at this point, Willow. Um, sorry about that, but just telling you how it is. Um, so we are going to head home um, and see what's going on over there. Um, we're going to have Gemma work from, or June work from home. And Scarlett Nelson is calling. Um, okay, we'll go to the harbor with them. Um, she, ooh, she can uh, try and climb out the window. <laughs> Clicking on the ground or an open window will give options on how to get to the event. Okay, so we need to get her home. Oh, well, finally, Yuko comes back. Um, Sprinkle's spirit is fading. That's unfortunate. Um, hurry up and go home so you can sneak out again. All right, so we are home. I'm going to take care of some of Gemma's needs and we're gonna wait for Flint and Willow to go to bed and then she will sneak out. So, <clears throat> sorry if my voice is kind of goofy, I choked on my coffee. Um, so Gemma is going to go use the bathroom and she's going to have a quick meal of some kind. Uh, she will have a microwave dinner that's fine. Um, Flint is cooking. Willow, I need her to go take care of the animals because we got a notification today that Cloudy's really unhappy. So we need to clean these things and um, take care of the animals really quick. Um, June is still embarrassed. She needs to stream a game because she's working from home. So she is going to, let's see, are you already doing it? No, come on, let me click on the computer. Um, we are going to do uh, career and live stream The Sims Infinite. And Gemma is going to have a quick meal and then she's probably, or actually instead of a quick meal, come have some hot, shish kebabs that your dad just made. Um, we need to actually clean up all of the other food that he's made that's gone um, bad. And a lot of things happened to Gemma on Social Bunny today. So let's open Gemma's Social Bunny. Let's see. Who knew that taking a pillow to the face could be so thrilling? Seeing someone with a bunch of their teeth, how embarrassing. I feel like Gemma's figured out um, August said something about Gemma. Um, Gemma has 19 followers. Messages. Um, Gemma and June just had a cute little interaction back and forth. And apparently Molly and Gemma did as well. Um, so that's cute. Gemma is getting some food, like we said. I'm just going to clean up a little bit around the house. Miss Willow, um, you really need to um, go take care of those animals. I really need you to clean the sheds, um, take care of them. 
And actually, when Gemma's done eating, she's just going to go be like, I'm going up to bed, and then she'll sneak out. Um, let's see. Flint, you can also help with the animals. You can scatter food because the chickens are hungry. And Willow, are you... Willow's stuck. I don't know why. They can walk over to that side of the bed, but then they can't walk out from it, which is really weird. Um, it's being goofy, so I might have to, like change that a little bit. So she is going to go take care of the animals. Gemma, where are you? Sweetie, you are eating. Great. And then when you are all done, I want you to come, come upstairs and then we will try sneaking out. Um, ooh, June is now entrepreneur level two. So we'll try having her sneak out. I think we're going to go down this way down the front of the house since mom and dad are busy in the back. Um, so they're just cleaning everything up. Gemma is going upstairs and June is busy doing her streamer thing. Gemma, let's see. Okay, I want her to, um, oh, we have to click on the ground outside. We want to, um, hmm. Oh, maybe we missed the opportunity to sneak out. Oh no, well that sucks. Um, we can lock it. Oh, so that way animals can't because it essentially acts as a door. Yeah, okay. Um, maybe I'm trying to think how we can have her sneak out. Maybe we need the op option again. Maybe we got home too late. Something's going on on Social Bunny. Oops, I didn't want to send a DM. I wanted to open the Social Bunny app. Uh, open Social Bunny. And let's see. Nothing new. Okay, so I don't know why it's saying something new. So Flint comes up here to talk to June. Let's see what he's trying to talk to her about. I don't know, all alone for people, person, lifestyle. Oh, he just needs some social. He's like in desperate need, so he's like trying to talk about it. He's going to discuss his fear of death with Gemma. That's probably not the best option. Like, you probably shouldn't talk to your kid about like, I'm really afraid I'm going to die, but like, you know, that's fine. Um, Yeah. And Gemma donated some hats that she, or Willow donated some hats that she knitted. So that's what that was all about. Um, so she's cleaning the shed. So in the morning, we'll have her, um, like, take care of the animals. So in the meantime, she's going to go to sleep because it is really late. Um, all of them need to go to sleep, probably. Uh, after Gemma is done showering, she will also use the bathroom and go to sleep. So I will catch you all when something interesting happens or in the morning, whichever comes first, we will see. All right, so we are back and it is Winterfest, um, but we don't even have money for a tree right now because we just paid our bills, which were very expensive. So Willow um, had an accident because she got stuck by her bed, um, which is just great. Um, so we're going to have her come over here and do a pop art painting to try and um, make some paintings to make some money so we can maybe afford a tree and like afford things in general. All right, so Miss Willow has created this pop art painting, which is so cute, and we are going to sell it um, because we need to, oh, she's also getting the entrepreneur skill, because we need to be able to afford a Christmas tree, and I want her to do another painting because... Uh, we really need money. Uh, we have no money. So I'm going to go ahead and buy them a Christmas tree now for Winterfest. Uh, and then we're going to have Aiden and August and Brianna over uh, at some point um, to, to celebrate. So I am going to look for a Christmas tree. And we will get the one that you have to decorate yourself. Um, let's see, I'm trying to think of 
where a good place to put it would be. I'm gonna temporarily scoot over all the furniture. Uh, it's not really gonna work there, is it? Okay. Um, I'm going to move the easel there and put the tree in the corner here. Um, that will work. So I know this is clipping with the curtains, but whatever, it's fine. Um, just don't paint the curtains, Willow. Um, she's going to, oops, I don't want her to contemplate. I want her to uh, continue painting. And while she's doing that, we are going to have some of the family start to uh, decorate the tree. So Flint is going to come here and he is going to decorate with, we'll do the garland first, we'll do I feel like they're a popcorn and cranberries family. So as I was saying, I think they're a popcorn and cranberries kind of family. So Gemma and June are going to help decorate the tree. She is going ahead and working on her impressionist painting at the moment. There are dirty dishes that the cats are gonna go after. Where's the kitchen? I'm still getting used to this new house, guys. Um, I like it, but I'm still getting used to it. I'm like, where's the kitchen? Uh, so let's see. We should schedule a time for Aiden and August to come over. Um, let's see, we'll add an event. Um, I guess we'll do a dinner party and we will have Flint and Willow be the hosts. We will invite June and Gemma, obviously, because they live here. Ooh, June really, Gem, uh, Willow really needs to up her relationship with her girls. Aiden and August and Brianna. And that will be our little dinner party. Willow will cook. We're going to have it at this house. And they will come over, we'll say 5 o'clock. Gives Willow some time and them some time to enjoy their winter fest. So yes, Willow is working on her painting. I wanna see what she's doing. It looks like maybe it's gonna be like an ocean and some rocks or something. Um, yeah, and it's like up from this grassy point. I feel like this is very Brindleton Bay inspired. Um, yeah, that looks pretty. Okay, so they decorated the tree with popcorn and cherries. And now we are going to have them add the ornaments, decorate with ornaments. They're going to go with red and gold with Gemma and June. They're going to go ahead and put ornaments on the tree. Miss Willow is still painting. Oh my goodness, how long is this gonna take? I hope it's a masterpiece so we can earn like some really good money because we have no money. We have 106 millions, which is really not enough. Um, oh, little Onyx is sleeping on the tree, on the cat tree, okay. So they're adding all the ornaments. And then, oh, Gemma still has cheerleading today, even though it's Winterfest? That's weird, are you sure? Yeah, that's so weird that she has it, even though it's Winterfest. Whatever, she'll go, maybe she'll get promoted or something because um, she will, oh dear, Rosie and Onyx might have kittens if we don't watch out. Um, but I was getting a phone call. Um, oh, okay, no one likes me, no one will ever like me. Why bother with anything anymore? Um, I think she's asking Flint, and I think Flint might be a little blunt and be like, people like you, look around. Um, so yeah, um, I don't know who was calling and why, um, but now someone is calling June. Sydney, um, you can come over for Winterfest. Um, let's invite, we'll add, him to the dinner party. Um, let's go ahead and add Sydney and we'll add Savannah too. We'll go ahead and add them and they can come to the dinner party. Uh, okay, so in June, I want you to come here and decorate with um, a tree skirt. We'll do the white and gold snowflake and you're gonna do that with your dad and sister. And then we're going to um, decorate with a 
we're just going to decorate the topper. We'll do a white and gold starburst. And then we will light the tree with the whole family as soon as Willow is done with her painting, which she is done. So we are going to light the tree with Gemma, Willow, and Flint, and June, obviously. Um, it looks so cute with their little popcorn and cherries and their ornaments. Oh, this is sad. This is probably Flint's last winter fest. That's unfortunate. Um, <laughs> oof, that's sad. I am like kind of sad that Flint is getting so old. It is really kind of sad. He doesn't have that much time left, um, which is really genuinely kind of sad and a little scary. Um, Gemma is off to cheerleading. Well, okay. Um, let's see what's going on with June on Social Bunny because she's got a lot going on here, apparently. Um, that pillow fight was euphoric. I feel like I'm glowing. What pillow fight? Um, messages. Um, it's just messages between Gemma and June. Nothing new. I don't know why it says there's something new. Uh, so she is uh, going to light the tree in a moment with her dad and her mom and dad, I guess, because um, clearly, um, oh, uh, no thanks. I'm busy. I'm married and you're a ghost. Uh, that was weird. Okay, so June is going to, or Willow, oh my goodness, Willow is going to come in here and she is going to cook a grand meal, meal cook a grand meal, please. <sighs> okay. We're going to do a ham dinner, and that will be their grand meal. Flint is depressed. Oh my gosh, he has the memory that his daughter died, but it's fine, she was brought back to life, everything's okay. Um, June is still working on the tree here. Um, she finally has the topper on. Now, I guess we're not gonna light as a family, she'll just light it by herself, um, because Willow's busy, and we're going to start our dinner party. Um, Gemma will stay at practice, and she'll just come home when she comes home. Um, yeah, so the tree looks cute. I don't see the tree skirt, though. Let's see, can we, I don't know why there's no tree skirt. Uh, oh well. So everybody's coming over, and Willow is up in the kitchen, getting her grand meal ready. Your sister-in-law is here. Come say hi to Brianna. Um, uh, I should lock the computers because they always do this, whatever. Um, come say hi to Savannah, if they'll let me click on her. My game has been so laggy lately and I don't know why. It's, I haven't like added like more mods or anything than normal. Like, I have my normal mods, so I don't know if it's like what it is. Um, we're gonna have her come over here, be friendly. We are going to um, discuss the latest video games with her. I'm gonna just queue up some interactions here. We are going to ask about her day. Um, I'm just going to queue up a bunch of interactions. Hold on. Let's see. Maybe. Oh, she's sad. I don't know why. Whatever. June, go talk to her. Gemma, come over here and come talk to Sydney. Um, give him a hip bump. Um, I don't know. Hip bump him and uh, let's see. Friendly more choices, ask about his day. We're just gonna queue up a bunch of interactions. Like I said, we're going to, I don't know, enthuse about interest there. Um, June, now Savannah's getting on the computer, pause. We're going to lock this, okay, if it'll let me. Uh, Household, no, how do we, oh, it's under security, I think. Um, computer security settings, lock computer for, 
everyone but the household. Okay. So now she's still going to use it. Sorry, I just bumped my, my, pop, my, my pop socket, my pop filter. Okay, so June, what did you do with the food? It's in the oven still. Okay. No, 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 you're not going to go grab a serving of whatever is out here. What are these even? Um, I don't know. We are going to have the grand meal. So Willow is going to call to grand meal and the whole house is going to have a celebration for Winterfest. Gemma looks so cute. I like her little outfit. She is going to talk to Sydney, um, discuss their interests. Um, oh dear. Um, I need to move this because I need to move this because oh no, um, because obviously no one can ever get through. So I'm going to rearrange a little bit in here. We're going to put the desk there and the dresser is going to have to go in front of the window and it's just going to have to sit like that because everyone always gets stuck there. And it's really annoying and I don't want to deal with that anymore. So we have adjusted a few things. Okay. Uh, Gemma, I want her to spend a few minutes with Sydney. If it'll load, um, we'll give him a Winterfest gift. Maybe we're not going to give him fertilizer, so guess not. Um, I want her to just be really friendly. I want to see if we can go to prom as friends. Um, maybe that would be nice. Um, so... We're just going to queue up a bunch of social interactions and try and get that to work. She's going to gossip because that's part of her, like, wish thing. Um, and, yeah, so they are going to just chit-chat. She's going to be funny because uh, sometimes funny brings up your so like your social bar and like your relationship bar faster so I'm gonna queue up a ton of interactions for her and we will see um I don't want to joke about like hair because that's kind of like weird um tell a joke about Martians sure go ahead talk about all those things June is coming over to eat Flint and Willow should get food as well the guests are all here Willow is going to go ahead and talk to Brianna a little bit because she doesn't know her. You know what? I know I shouldn't do this in a legacy challenge, but I am going to cheat her friendship up a little bit because I feel like she should know her daughter-in-law. So we're just going to cheat that a little bit. Um, <laughs> but, uh, uh oh, Aiden looks like he's not doing so good. So we're going to enjoy company with our son. Um, one of our sons because we really miss our boys now that they're not living with us and June is going to hang out with Savannah they're going to enjoy each other's company as well and they are going to be funny with each other they'll tell a funny story they will um, joke about aliens the cats are meowing. I kind of want to see if they're going to breed because I would kind of like kittens maybe. Um, and we'll do an impression, see how that goes. Um, Gemma, what's going on? You're uncomfortable because you're cold. Um, let's see. Sydney, let's... Um, I don't want her to get too playful because I don't want her to die of like laughter. Um, so we'll ask about his day. We'll try and cheer him up. We will friendly. Um, we'll discuss his sad mood, I guess. Oh, Gemma has a crush on Sydney. So she likes Sydney and Yoko. She kind of likes both of them. Well, let's see what we can do about a relationship here um, and see if we can get anything going. Um, 
Let's see. Share Winterfest excitement. Oh, they're building a good relationship. It's moving. Um, let's see. Let's friendly. Let's um hmm. We'll rave about growing up. Um let's see, what else can we do? If this will load. I'm so sorry that my game's so laggy. It's probably awful to watch, but oh well. Uh and we'll have a deep conversation with them and see where that goes. June. Okay, everybody's cold. Is the heat not on? The heat is not on. Go turn on the heat because everyone is literally freezing. Everyone, like people are in their outerwear because it's so cold. So go turn on the heat. And how are we doing on our relationship here with Savannah? We're building one. They are acquaintances still. Um, so... We need to come over here and um, we're not going to spread a nasty rumor. Give her a pep talk. And um, let's be funny. Let's describe a robot invasion because we're a geek, I guess. I guess that's funny. Um, and then what else can we do? Um, let's enthuse about a new show. And how is Gemma doing over here with Sydney? They are working on it. It looks like it hasn't moved down there, but then when I like the bar that's up here when you talk to them, um, is higher, which is kind of odd. Um, I wonder if it's just like not fully loading. Um, let's see. No, okay, we'll see. She's trying very hard. We'll see what happens. Um, let's see, we're going to hang out with Savannah some more, build more of a relationship. Um, let's see. I, okay, so one thing that did happen was that this was off camera, but I swear it happened. I went to record it, but then as soon as I like, um, did a control escape of my game, press record and come back, it went away. But Savannah called and said she was interested in us, like, romantically. So I want them to date. Um, I want them to maybe date. Um, so they are friends now. So I want her to, oops, oops, don't do that. Um, I want her to build this relationship just a little bit more and then I want her to maybe try flirting a little bit. Um, let's debate game strategy. And then we will see. Um, I ooh, We shouldn't ask her to prom tonight because I want us to kind of develop a relationship. And maybe on, like, Friday we will... Um, Maybe on Friday we will, um, oh, that's so weird. We can't flirt with her because she says she's not interested in us romantically. But then she calls and says she is. And June has a major crush on her. Oh, well, I'm sorry. She might not be interested in you, which is kind of sad, but whatever. Um, I like how this dinner party was supposed to be about family. Now it's all about friends. Um, we will, um, oh, things aren't really moving forward with me emotionally with you. That's so sad. I guess they're just friends. It sucks. I know what it's like to be rejected by someone you like. <laughs> um, so we'll see. See if we can at least get one, one of these guys to have a relationship. Um... Is she friends yet with him? No. Well, let's um let's ask to promise friends and we'll see if anything comes of that. Um so they're sharing their excitement, and then she's gonna ask him to prom as a friend, and we will see what he says. <laughs> I'm kind of nervous. Um June is going to, sure, I guess I'll go to prom with you. Okay, so Sydney and um, and Gemma are going to go to prom together. And 
we will, we can't ask her to prom because they're not romantically interested in each other, which is sad. Um, so we'll have to find someone else for June to go with. We'll have to find somebody. Um, she is really good friends with Savannah now, which is good. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, they're just not interested in like, so, you know, she's not interested in dating her, which is just fine. But I want to get a shot of this, like all the teens just chilling out on Winterfest. And then there's um, Santa or Father Winter or whoever he's called. Um, so that's kind of funny. Um, but I think people are going to be wrapping up soon. I just want to go ahead. How friendly are we with Sydney? Uh, I don't know. Probably not friendly enough to flirt with him yet. Um, let's see. Let's, we supposedly placed a present pile, but I do not see presents. Where are they? Remove the present pile. Place a present pile under the tree. And then we're gonna open presents with the family. Um, or not. Um, okay, I guess we'll ask Father Winter for a present. <laughs> um, if we can introduce ourselves, give him a friendly introduction, and then be like, can I have a present? We're going to do that. Oh, she's fearless from a successful proposal. That's cute. Um, let's see. Also, I want them to kind of use social but anymore because... I heard that you can like really build relationships fast through Social Bunny. So we'll have to try that. We're gonna ask Father Winter for a present, see if he gives us one. Um, Cause that would really just make Gemma's winter fest. June needs to ask for a present as well um, to really make her winter fest. So we'll give a friendly introduction to him. Willow and Flint had a great winter fest. Willow is almost there. Ooh, we got a robot vacuum. Um, <laughs> June, come over here and ask Father Winter for a present, please. Um, I want you to get a present. Uh, hurry up. Come down the stairs now. She acquired the singing skill. When was she singing and where? Um, so you've introduced yourself, so now ask for a present. That's all Santa is good for is presents. Um, <laughs> I want to see what she gets. It's, oh my gosh, it's 1.20 in the morning. They need to hurry up and get to bed too because otherwise they're going to be exhausted for school tomorrow. Oh no. Come on, ask for a present. Okay, you're asking for a present. He's going to give you one. Gemma, I want you to go up and go to bed because you need to sleep or you are not going to have a good day tomorrow at school. June also needs to go to sleep after she gets her present. Oh, there was nothing inside the present. That's so sad. Sadness and lies. Oh my gosh. Okay. That is very unfortunate. And I'm sorry to hear that. But you need to go to bed. And I am going to um, try and clean up the kitchen a little bit. I will catch you all in the morning when the Sims wake up. Okay, just kidding. On that note, we are going to let them go to sleep and I will talk to you all in the next episode because I think this episode is going to be long enough as is. Um, and I don't know where the auto lights aren't working. Um, so yeah, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed, subscribe and leave a comment down below. When I get to 100 subscribers, I'll be giving away a pack. Um, it'll likely be like either one stuff pack or two kits. So like a value of like $10. I know that's not a lot, but for 100 subscribers, that's what I can do. Um, so yeah, I will be giving away like $10 of content when we hit a hundred subscribers. So make sure to subscribe so you can be entered into that giveaway. All right. Uh, thank you guys so much. And I'll talk to you all in the next video. Bye.